Shalom, I'd like to say all praises due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahushai, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, of whom I learned this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. My name's Kanawak from GMS Toronto, doing a quick lesson in regards to um, the invest. This is the, the yeah, so this is the editorial investigate it's like an investigate chinese police station in canada all right i was just um i was just watching the video of the brother in uh or the elder you know um of um of california you know of um los angeles you know that brother i remember it's um when i was um still watching the videos or whatever he was one of the first brothers who was out there by himself all right um i forgot i don't i forgot your name brother but i remember uh he was out there by himself that brother you know now he has uh now he got a lot of fruit a lot of fruit man and um it's a blessing right and um i got that ins i got this inspiration off of your uh off of your channel, GMS Rock Solid Foundation 2. Alright, this is the elders of um of California, the you know the elder, the the bishop of uh or the apostle, you know, who is uh you know that brother, he's very diligent man. And um you know and um I kind of knew I didn't really know to the extent that you know that these uh Chinese have have their police station in Canada this is something new but I kind of because Chinese they're very secretive you know but um I knew that they have their temples and certain stuff but I didn't know I, I know that they probably had like uh like the Chinese Canadian um I'm like the Chinese Canadian embassy but I was very uh, shocked, you know, but I remember uh, during the pandemic, you know, there was a lot of Chinese who do, who was doing a lot of training exercise, you know, by, um, you know, by these little, uh, these private airplanes. I noticed that on the Rebel News, the Rebel News guys, the news reporters guys, um, they were going into the chinese right the chinese them they're already here the u.n troops but um you know this is a, a plan of uh of the nations to um try to destroy our people you know and um you know and that's what it is you know and um you know they're gonna they're gonna do anything you know try to, to try to destroy our people man you know and um you know through canada uk britain you know um because you see like you see like they have their their uh you know like they have their boats you know they have their torpedoes you know so uh we're we're cornered you know so the only hope that we have is that you know that the lord's gonna deliver us out of these things man out, out of this this snare that we're in because you know because um you know because they want to have us in a snare all right all right the psalm 91 you know but the lord's gonna he's gonna make a way out of no way man and he's I mean, he's gonna I'm gonna get that too, but I'm gonna get Psalms 83 or uh, yeah. Psalms 83 and one, a song of a uh, psalm, a song or psalm of Asap. Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace. Be not still, O, o Yahweh. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and lo, they that hate thee have lifted up the head right so these nations they hate us man they hate the children of israel right because you know they're uh you know 
they're envious of the children of Israel because the Lord only dealing with one nation, right? All right, from when Adam, from Adam, all right, the sons of God, all right, and um, you know Noah, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, you know the twelve patriarch, the most is only dealing with those people, that bloodline, the bloodline of Adam. You know, and um, you know, because even though we all come off, we all come out of Adam. The Most I chose a a, a a chosen line. All right, and that's Deuteronomy thirty-two. All right, the, the Lord chose a a, a cho He chose a chosen line. They that have they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted together against thy hidden ones. So yeah, this is a crafty counsel, man. You know, like with the United Nations or League of Nations, you know, these summit meetings that they have around the world, you know, these Bilderberg meetings and stuff. And um, they're doing a lot of ups subtlety, man. They're doing a lot of, you know, they have a lot of paid uh, informants, you know, private investigators and all that shit, man. You know? And and they're and they're making billions of dollars, man, here in America and Canada, man. You know, see, uh, CSIS, all kind of different agencies, man. You know, so um, you know, you don't. So you really have to be 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 uh, be mindful of who you are amongst. You know, you just have to be solo, man, and just think, cause um. It is what it is, man. And uh, there's always been a, you know, you know, the Lord, you know, on, like when the Lord was on the scene, you know, there was a, a Judas, you know, there's a, um, Judas Iscariot, you know, and he betrayed the Lord, you know, but it's already prophesied, but, you know, every camp there is a Judas, you know, there's an informant or PI, you know, private investigator and stuff. So, um, you know, you have to be, so that we have to be mindful and stuff. You just have to just stay in the spirit and, uh, you know, because there's a lot of things that's going on here in Toronto and uh, it's getting kind of, and there's a lot of judgment, a lot of, a lot of weird kind of things too. But um, yeah, this is uh, crafty. It means I, I rum to be subtle, be shrewd, be crafty. To it says to beware. Take crafty, right? And we know that the craft is going into their, in their, in their witchcraft, their Wicca. You know, with their their masonry and all that shit. You know, and they do a lot of wickedness, man. You know, you want to be a part of that shit. Like you have to do all kind of wickedness, man. You know, I like to be a member or whatever. So, you know, they have to do all kinds of things, and I don't, I'm not not really gonna go into it. But yeah, it's very, it's fucking filthy, man. All right. And then um, they have said. Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel be mean no more in remembrance. Alright, so these people they're you know like they're taking counsel against us, you know, anywhere people are you know, and they wanna keep us down, they keep us oppressed, you know, and they wanna ultimately cut us off, right? So that they could have rule, but but right now the world's going to shit and ultimately this is already prophesied, you know. So there's no way around it, man. And and these uh, like these leaders of these nations, these of these uh, countries or whatever are gonna go into the bunkers, you know, like their kings and their uh, their nobles and stuff. They're gonna go right to the bunkers, man. All right, and they're gonna be hiding from the presence of the Lamb, cause the Lord's gonna come and he's gonna, he's, <sighs> bro. <sighs> Bro, these people, these Elamites, they have a thousand years of hardcore. Bro, we went into slavery, you know, because we disobeyed the Heavenly Father, 
right? All right, because we're doing all kind of wickedness while we were in power throughout, you know, um, like in the Middle Ages, we're doing all kinds of wickedness and stuff. So the most I punished us, man, you know, went to slavery, you know, transatlantic slave trade, you know, the Spanish, um, I, I, I like the Spanish, I like the Spanish and Portuguese Inquisition, you know, you know, like we were, you know, yeah, you know, like, bro, we went through a lot of pain, man, a lot of struggle, a lot of things, man, a lot, a lot, we took a lot of losses, man, we lost our identity, man, you know, and you feel like that you guys are going to get away, whatever, and especially these Edomites, man, you know, because they totally destroyed us from being a nation, man. The tabernacles of Edom, right, which would be Ashashua, right, the so-called white man. The Ishmaelites, which would be you Arabic, you damn Arabs, right, the sons of Ishmael. The Moab, right, which would be the of the so-called you Asian and Chinese, Koreans. You know Singapore. And the Hagarines, all right. Let me look at the Hagarines. I think that would be uh, the Hagarin, so like the Egyptians, basically. Right? And now the people there in Egypt now are these damn Arabs anyways. Right? Because the original Egyptians right, were the sons of uh, Mizraim, right? Where they're tall, black, tall, dark, dark fucking Hamites. You know, Gabal. Ammon, are you Japanese? Amalek, you people over there in the state of Israel, Ishmaelites, or the Philistines, right? People in uh, the land of Philistines, right? which uh, you know it was originally the land of um, it was originally the land the the land of Canaan or the land of um, Ham. Or the people, the Philistines were the damn Hamites, but now the people over there in Palestine are the Arabs. All right, with the inhabitants of Tyre, all right, which would be in Lebanon, Ashur, or Syria, which would be like an Iraq region. Also, is joined with them. They have hope in the children a lot. So, 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 so these people, these people, they're making, you know, like they have taking crafty counsel man so they so they've been sitting down all these round tables all right ways to keep our people down and this is one right this is here in toronto you know so um be aware of your circum you know because uh, you know jake doesn't really know what the hell is going on our people are out here you know like don't even know that they have enemies man it says uh investigate it says investigation Chinese like a in the in the tutorial investig investigates Chinese police station in Canada. It's alarms it's alarming news. It is a it is alarming news that the Chinese government had apparently set up police stations on Canadian soil. It is also Planned, unacceptable. It is also plain, unacceptable. It is also plain unacceptable, and shouldn't be allowed to happen. They. It's like yeah. It says it says the allegation are continued within a report by a human right. Watchdog called Safeguard Safeguard Defense, which takes a keen and critical eye of the Chinese of the Chinese Communist Party CCP, according uh, a action abroad. Um, abroad, they chain says 
they claim to uh, said they claim the same problem he arise as like they claim the same problems has arisen in other major cities around the world all right so you know the chinese you know these different agencies all these different uh these heathen nations that they're you know they're going to america you know canada they're going all over the place right you know jamaica they're spying out the land you know and um and they're and they're gathering intel all right and they're um like this is a very good good article has been as i read it it's a good one to read i don't want to um go in depth too too much about it but um this is uh off of this one the editorial in investigates chinese police station in, in canada all right and um in 2019 in um i was going to a, a so-called day party after the raptors damn parade whatever with a uh, couple brothers and whatever and then i was going to a party a day we went to like a little day party which we should we, we should have never fucking went. me i should have never went whatever right and um you know and uh basically uh i, uh, I got hit from behind or whatever and uh the person know the guy knows who hits me everybody know i i know the, i know him he know you know he knows me i know I, like you know like you know like i like i don't know him but you know this is you know like you you hit somebody close man all right and um uh, you know i know you know like i'm ultimately you know i have yahweh yahweh shy as my shield my ball clear or whatever we all know each other and stuff and um you know yeah so i got uh so i got hit with a like whatever object whatever the fuck it was all right dragged all right you go on you, you could go on the internet right now put sans toronto all right 2019 all right and like that was me that was being dragged by the police and whatever almost you know i went to uh almost i was i went to humber humber river hospital i almost was killed all right because it, they were doping me up or whatever you know i like they didn't I, I wasn't be i wasn't brought to a proper emergency hospital all right and uh it's a lot of things i'm not going to, going to go in depth but i had to go to another hospital trillium you know and i was five minutes from death i could have been dead or whatever it's a miracle i was going to us a lot of i was going i went to many different a couple different hospitals for almost six months right that almost affected my life right and uh almost killed me you know these poly you know like you know and these you know these same these same promoters and all this stuff they're they're you know they're going to all over the world they're going all over you know uh all over canada and uh and america and stuff and they're they want to live high life and stuff whatever you know like you know the most high is gonna the most high is gonna put something yeah how you know to those people at that event that sense you know the toronto police or uh, york all right and and you you know and the, and you two-thirds man all right the other the, these other nations these are the wicked man and then most i bring judgment upon upon you other nation you know upon you wicked niggas you know and upon the guy who fucking hate me because this guy is living he living good or whatever like you know want to be in the high life or whatever pray out bashimia shari yeah bashimia sorry he would like he's gonna do his thing because you know the most size thing but um yeah but i'm gonna uh it is what it is but um Cause right now this 
these police, every fucking body is, is fucking dirty. Yeah, it says, yeah, it says, here's what we know. This is a blog news. The blog, it's like a blog Toronto. Here's what we know about the Toronto police officials. It's like a, here's what we know about the Toronto police officer shot and killed in Mississauga. That was like a week or two ago. No, a couple of weeks ago, basically almost two or three weeks there was uh basically a guy he was a uh, he was a so-called black man or whatever all right and he went to a tim hortons all right and they said that he was he sat in the tim hortons for a couple hours all right and he shot and he he, he waited just to see a see a on duty police officer and he must have went on a rampage and I don't know if he's got charge or what. It doesn't even make sense. But um, I'm just going to just uh, just summarize it kind of. A massive emergency alert was sent to thousands of people in Ontario. It says regarding an actor. It's like a, regarding an active shooter yesterday. Though it's like a though at the time many were confused about the circumstance we 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 know not we know now a toronto police officer was murdered uh, but toronto and peel police forces conf confirmed they said the police was participating in a training exercise that he was uh, ambushed and fairly shot dead unprovoked while in Mississauga Tim Hortons at around 2.15 p.m. on September the 12th all right and uh, they said this basically they were doing a training exercise all right so um yeah, this is off the same article. It says, um, I already read it, but I don't want to really, I'm not going to read this whole thing. Like, you could do your own research. You see? 344. Four. All right. This is my, uh, you know, like, these are spiritual numbers, man. All right. No, three means, it means understanding, right? Four four, you know. You know, there's everything spiritual, man. It is with a. It says it is with a profound sadness that I announce the death of Toronto Police Servant Constable Andrew Hung of Traffic Services. So he's a traffic service guy, Toronto Chief. Toronto Chief. It says, it says the Toronto Chief of Police, um, James Rammed, told the public that the Missaga was, it said, told, told the police in Missaga last night. Uh, and uh, you could do your own research, whatever, but this is kind of weird. This is right by the, that, yeah, like this is right by the, the uh, like the TD. Um, you know, it's a Canadian bank, the TD Bank, all right, and um, see that there, where the guy he was by the Tim Hortons there, so they cordoned it off, and it kind of looks fishy, and whatever, I don't fucking think this is even fucking real, but I know when, um, you know, like when we started camp, we started camp, we started camp like 2009 or around March or whatever, but like a couple of years later, cause you know, because we, you know, like the Trump police, they always would harass us, you know, because, um, you know, because we're preaching, you know, so they would always fucking give us, you know, like they'd always try to give us a hard time, you know, but the most I, 
I forgot the the name of that that sergeant. All right, he was a sergeant. He was like a high sergeant. I think sergeant. Forgot the guy's what's his name? Sergeant Rob. I forgot the guy's name. Whatever. But he got he got run over by a um. He got ran over by a damn uh, a snowplow. You know, put. Put Toronto police gets run over by a snowplow by a guy from St. Catharines. All right, he was basically uh, he basically had like a some uh, he was a I guess the guy he had like an episode. All right, and uh, basically, um, I guess uh, he wasn't. He got, I guess the guy was a well well established guy. He had a little. He had a. Uh, he had like boats and he had things but i guess um something happened or whatever so he basically um he like basically hijacked a snow plow and whatever and then the guy the sergeant i think it starts with the r i forgot i don't know if it's rob robert or whatever his name was and then he tried to shoot at the guy but he got he, he but he ended up getting run over all right and um the guy got off i think the guy got off like a couple of years later and stuff yeah this is real life man so it says touch not, it says touch not my anointed i want to get that i want to get that and then i'm going to close i think it's psalms uh one of the psalms touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm yeah psalm 105 and 06 lucky okay. yeah i took a lot of losses man but you know what you know i'm gonna get that one too Right, because those who the most I loves, he he chasing if right because I could have been dead. The most I could have just you know I put this nigga man. You know, you're gonna go back, you know, like you're gonna come back but you're not gonna be of no you know, like you're gonna you're not gonna be like, you know, I wanna be like I wanna be of the elect and I wanna be of a, of a high you know, even if it's at a lower, but I I wanna be of the of the hundred and forty four. All right. So Psalms one o five, and um, I suffer. Um, Start at fourteen. Hold on. I, I I I go into I was gonna go to Gen uh, Psalms one oh five and fourteen but I'm gonna start at Psalms one oh five and nine which con which said which covenant he made with Abraham and Isaac his oath unto I his oath unto Isaac, right? You know, even that uh, event I went to the, that event called Sand Milk and Honey, right? And um, you know, even the security, the security, like the name of their uh, the security uh, corporation was very spiritual. I'm not gonna say all the names, but everything is all uh, spiritual, man. And um, no, the wrong place, wrong time. You know, and um, you know because our, you know because, you know because we're gonna inherit the land of milk and honey. You know the elect. You know, you know when the new Jerusalem's coming down from heaven. You know and um, you know the two thirds. You know the, the, like right now like they're in their milk and honey, right? Even though you know like we don't have shit. You know, but our people like to go to have mirth and, you know party and drink and get in get married is it's just like the days of noah man you know and like that's why the lord 
or Noah, you know, the Noah, you know, he basically, he was warning those, he's warning our people, you know, and what he was building, right, him and his sons, you know, he was warning them, whatever, and yeah. And until, uh, un, until that day, right, because Noah was prophesying for over a hundred something, some odd years. You know, and then until uh, it started to really, it still to bust, it started to bust, bust a piece of rain because it never rained, it was just a dew. All right, so, <laughs> you know, and you know, everyone wanted to go into the ark, but nope, the most I had an angel block the door, bro. Which, which covenant, Psalms 105 and 9, which covenant he made with an Abraham and his oath unto Isaac and confirmed the and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for everlasting covenant All right so this is our law and this was an oath that the yeah that Abraham right he 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 he, he swore you know he, like the heavenly father swore oath unto Abraham that he will give him the land of milk on the end and he will give him the law for everlasting covenant All right saying unto thee will I give thee the land of Canaan it says the lots of your inheritance when they were but a few men in number yea very few and sh strangers f strange in it right so even when we were we were because remember abraham he lived in you're the chalades all right and uh basically his father his father was basically um like tahar or uh when you go to genesis um i think 12 or 11 where it talks about um you know that line whatever but basically the lord he like he choked he like he separated him or whatever from uh from you're the child these and he they went and whatever and and we sojourn until we went into the land of canaan which would be so-called like the land of israel now all right and um you know there's a lot of history man and uh, like we have an amazing history you know and um you know and you know we're gonna inherit the land again right because the real inhabitants of the land aren't the real the real ha the or the people of the land right now in the state of israel like they're not the real inhabitant even though our people are a couple people you know our people are are mingled amongst them all right but the most size you know like the most size gonna um he's gonna do a demolition man you know, like you know that movie demolition man with uh i think with arnold schwarzenegger and wesley snipes the most size gonna do a demolition man uh, I'll, I'll, you know like around the world man all right when they were very few so like when they were but a few men in number yea very few and strangers in it when they were went from one nation to another from one kingdom to an, another people he shall suffer no man to do them wrong yea he provoke he reprove the kings for their sakes right so even these kings man or any time you know we, we, that we were in trouble man in war or, you know anytime they you know like these nations were trying to come after us and we were and we were in good standing with the lord you know uh, uh, i'm like the lord yahweh yahweh shai you know he would always he, like he would always intervene man you know but every time but every time we disagree but every time we you know like we went every time we went off or whatever like the most i would send these nations to jack our ass up man all right so now we're, we're learning man and, and like right now like we're we're, we're sharpening 
you know like we're being re like we're being reproved every day whatever we're building up our spirit our faith i know because right now if we do good or whatever like you know like these people they're not gonna need to touch us even if you know um you know you know even if um anything you know you, you end up go to concentration camp and you you know like the because the most is gonna try our heart right so not everyone's gonna have the same level of faith or whatever right and um so the most is gonna try us man like 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 gold man you know see if you're you know if those see if those uh impurities are 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 pure man if it's real real gold man all right got the most i even though silver silver is a nice a nice nice el element you know but gold man that's you know that's royal man so you want to be like a gold man say saying he will suffer not no man to do them wrong yea he will he will reprove kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Alright, so even these people, man, who wanna come after us, you know, they you know they see us on the street or they what or these or they uh gang what do you call it? This gang stalking or uh, you know, these different agencies who follow us every fucking where we go, whatever like pray about Shema Shai the most I send uh you know he will he, he, like he will give them you know a, like a lot of like a lot of delusions you know dreams you know you know and you know and just you know, and just torment them yeah bashim yeah how bashim asher prayer bashim asher brakta yahu brakta asher brakta yahu bashim asher yahu bashim asher shalakur yam you know, to these these na these other nations, you know, who's coming against your people, Ya Bashim Yashai. And these two thirds man. You know, and these different agencies, man, who who's 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 out for our people. I pray Ya Bashim Yashai that they don't you know, take the I pray Ya Bashim Yashai that they don't you know, I pray Ya Bashim Yashai that you will shield us and protect us, Ya Bashim Yashai, from these wicked these wicked heathen man and this the sellouts man of our people man moreover he it says moreover he calleth it for a famine upon the land he breaketh the whole staff of bread he you know this is pretty much this is a very good uh, good chapter you know but um yeah man like this is this thing that we're in right now their new world order is coming to a halt you see like you know that this this is a black guy whatever uh, you go on the internet you'll see his name andrew when he's a police officer who they got but you know this seems like it's very uh scripted you know because um looked very fishy All the police, the, the Toronto police, um, Mississauga, or the Peel police, York police. That's that. Uh, for... Oh, sorry, man. Yeah, man. So these people, all these police right now. Right now, not a good time to be a policeman because right now, when civil rest is, you know, like civil rest is about to break, you, you, it's already breaking out. A lot of crimes going on, a lot of, a lot of shit, stabbing, shootings, muggings, whole bunch of shit going on, man. You know, this is the guy. Whatever, you know. With, um, yeah, man, these, you see the Chinese police, man. This is the damn ch Moabites, man. Right here in Canada, in our backyard, in our, in our backyard, you know, that we're prisoners of war. Yeah, then I was watching the, the brother in California, the, 
you know, the bishop, you know, he was the leader of California, you know, that brother, um, GMS, what's that thing called? What's this thing? The GMS, um, rock, slack him. Yeah, the GMS Rock Solid Foundation. And I was watching this thing and he was talking about Kanye West and all this shit, man. So all these people are real puppets, man. You know, and um, all everybody wants to be a rapper, everybody wants to be a superstar. You're going to be a superstar in the damn, in a damn um, so-called little room. You know, look at it, you know. So these guys are real prison. These guys are are real puppets, man. You know, and um, the the NWO is coming. Is is going? Is you know? It's not gonna work. Whatever. The truth about the Georgia guy stone bombing and what really happened. Save this video right now. This is. Yeah. So basically, uh, we see like a month or two ago. You know, the Georgia Guidestones, you know, got basically uh, somebody uh, vandalized them. Whatever whatever they did or whatever, but basically, uh, you know, like those stones are, are no are, are no more, you know. <laughs> so so their the, so like their plan of their uh, of the Georgia Guidestones and you know uh, maintain the world population to uh, 500 million or yeah five yes 500 million or whatever because the earth right now they're saying that the earth has over 8 billion people but we know I've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube and they're talking about you know the world war 3 and basically um there's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of death man they're gonna be like at least five or six billion people dude that's gonna die or whatever man you know so um let's see man the yawa yawa shy is gonna get real and uh we're gonna you know like i'm um, like that's what I, basically um i'm um, like like we're gonna have to be saved through faith and like a divine intervention all right you know that when the missiles are going to be shot off and whatever all right because it's going to get real so with that let's see all praise due to you how about shame i the one to the apostles of great millstone peace and blessed to the whole from members of the elect death and destruction unto you wicked you damn uh private well not private you damn uh, you damn spies No. No, these pri uh, what do you call private? What do you call them? Yeah, the personal or they what do you call them? Whatever. What? Yeah, all these different agencies that these people have and to spy out people's liberty. Yeah, Yeah, how to these other to these wicked men. You know, pray about Shem have mercy. Hopefully, this video is edifying, and um, I'm just gonna make this thing run out. This is for edifying purposes, and with that, shalom. Crazy. So right now, all local news channels are talking about this, but this is what they don't want you to know. If you guys didn't know, the Georgia Guidestones have ten laws or lists that these higher ups and the elites want to get done, and this list right here is ten New World Order laws that they want to happen in the future. And just look at the first one up here. Maintain humanity under 500 million. There's 7 to 8 billion people in the world. They're trying to lower the population to be in balance with nature. And Bill Gates in his TED Talk in 2010, he was already talking about this stuff. If you haven't watched his TED Talk, go watch it on YouTube. I'm not putting it on here. But he was literally talking about lowering the population with this right here. It's already happening right now in the present moment. But let me talk about the news story about the Georgia Guidestones. They said someone bombed the Georgia Guidestones. But if you use Gematria, you can decipher the mainstream media by using the headlines they use. Because if you type bomb in Gematria, it equals 76. And what's today's date that the bombing happened? July 6th. Oh, isn't it a coincidence that George W. Bush, the former president's birthday is today? And he 
turns 76. And his birthday's on July 6th, 76 once again. They keep using these numbers. If you guys didn't know, he was in a secret society in Yale called the Skull and Bones. This secret society loves using 322. If you look up the day when the Georgia Guidestones were essentially created, it was March 22nd. 322. All these numbers are not a coincidence. In the mainstream media, they love to use numbers as a code. They do this for news, sports, everything. So basically, the Georgia Guidestone bombing was a complete setup. It was 100% planned out to happen today, July 6th. And also, look up Skull and Bones on Gematria. It also equals 76. And today, as I'm recording this video, today is July 6th, when the bombing happened. It feels like we're essentially living out a script. We're playing characters in someone else's movie. That's what it feels like to me. Just be aware next time about all these news articles. And don't be in fear. Love y'all. Follow for more videos like this. You feel me? Yeah.